Welcome to the 2014 F1 in Schools World Finals Award Celebration. Please welcome to the stage from Sky Sports F1, Mr. David Croft. Good evening, good evening. How are we, Abu Dhabi and Ferrari World? Can you see me at the back? Excellent. 520 people all crammed in here tonight. So many people, we've actually had to delay the building of the new Kimi Raikkonen vodka bar. Um, that, that'll go in the future. Uh, in the space that was going to be used by Fernando Alonso, my Ferrari dream ride. Uh, which has been cancelled for some strange reason, I don't know why. Uh, welcome along, ladies and gentlemen, uh, invited guests, uh, VIP guests, members of the Formula One community, and most importantly, our 38 teams competing for the World Finals in 2014. Give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> we have 22 awards to hand out this evening, culminating with our world champions, Bernie Eccleston World Championship Trophy in a few moments' time. But I'd like to start proceedings by welcoming the GEMS Education Abu Dhabi Choir to the stage. If you would like to make your way, uh, the choir, to the stage. And ask you all, please, uh, to rise from your seats whilst the choir uh, make their way to the stage. Good evening to the GEMS Education Abu Dhabi Choir. Thank you, and pray silence for the national anthem of the United Arab Emirates. Many thanks to our choir, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats. A massive round of applause for all of our teams. And a warm welcome to all of their supporters watching around the world on the webcast provided thanks to our communications partner, Tata Communications. What have they been doing? Round of applause, please. What have they been doing for the last few days? Well, let's have a look and see.
presentations, engineering, judging and the competition itself. It's not been arduous just for our competitors but for the judges as well. Please welcome the head of the judges, the Chief himself, all hail to the Chief, Gary Anderson. Let's get you a microphone, Mr. Anderson. Because as booming as your voice is, they won't hear you at the back. That should be working. Excellent. How's your week been, Gary? Oh, I think it's been about a month actually. Yeah, it's been, uh, been quite a tough weekend. But, you know, these guys every year they just get better and doing things that are more difficult to look at, measure, check, whatever. But, you know, the guys, the judges, and I have to thank all of them. They're all set all over the place. But you know, they've done a fantastic job all weekend. They've really sort of spent the hours here making sure everything was done correctly. So. You make it more difficult for us. They've got to resolve that somehow, and they did a very good job. We've had a bit of controversy as well. Parts added to the, uh, the starting gate that made Colossus car break that world record. Wasn't deemed illegal, wasn't deemed legal. Colossus withdrew it and didn't race it uh, again. And that's what Formula One's all about, though. We've seen the envelope pushed. We've seen the boundaries broken. Yes, it is. I mean, Colossus arrived with uh, what was called an air cushion. It went onto the firing pin of the, uh, of the actuator. And really, and truthfully, you know, there is nothing in the regulations that stop that happening. There's nothing that says you can do it. So they did their first runs with it, and obviously the car was very, very quick. And before 8 o'clock on the first night, we had to make a decision because a lot of teams wanted to know, was it legal, was it not legal, because they wanted the opportunity to make something. So we made a decision that allowed them to make it because really and truthfully, we needed more time to look into it. And overnight, we did look very closely at it. I sat down with Colossus uh, the next morning and in a very, very sporting gesture, and I'd like to thank them very, very much for what they did, they agreed to withdraw it from this competition to allow this competition to be more of a level playing field. Now, the world record still stands. The level playing field has brought up some fantastic results. So at the end of the day, you know, I think Formula One might learn a little bit about the sporting spirit and trying to make, make the competition the competition, not just the competition in the, in the back room with people arguing about it all. In fact, members of uh, Lotus and Red Bull are going off to Mercedes now to see if they will draw their engines for this weekend, well, make it a level playing field. Maybe they could borrow some. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing that happens around here. People loan <laughs> stuff to other people. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic group of people. Thank you very much for everything. And it, Absolutely. It's got better this year. I've seen the be uh, on the track, the cars are getting faster as well. Some amazing new uh, conceptions that are going on the cars. Where does it end, Gary? That's the thing. Well, hopefully it never ends. You know, our job is to try and control it at a level that allows teams to actually just keep making that little step because that's what you want to do. I mean, that world record for next year, it'll be challenged, I'm sure, because we now have to incorporate a regulation that allows that time to be challenged. And that's going to be the, the task for next year. You know, you've got to get under that one second, so you've got to push pretty hard. Well, in which case then, go rewrite the regulations and we'll see you again next year. Cheers. Thanks Gary everyone. Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Gary. Right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Not the presentation of the Bernie Eccleston uh, World Champions Trophy. That comes in a few moments' time, but the buffet is open. Oh, and boy, have I always wanted to announce the buffet being open. Uh, formal orderly queue. Um, if you see this time here, it says current queue timings. So there's like five minutes for Formula Rossa and uh, Junior GT, five minutes as well. If there's more than a five minute queue for the buffet, you're just gonna get bored. Uh, there's enough food to go around for everybody. So starting at the tables that are nearest, please queue up now. It is dinner time. Your chance, teams, to network over dinner and ask the questions to our members of the Formula One community you have always wanted to discuss, and we'll be back with the awards in round about half an hour's time. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, in about 10 minutes time. Before we do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we came to Ferrari World this evening, uh, or actually just as our award ceremony was uh, about to get underway, uh, we received uh, some news uh, on the current condition of, of Jules Bianchi, uh, the Ferrari Academy driver who drove, of course, for Marussia this season and was involved in a, quite a horrific accident in Japan a few races ago. And I, I mention this tonight because one of our teams, uh, Eastern Fire, uh, from uh, China have been uh, carrying the hashtag Keep Fighting Michael and the hashtag Forza Jules logo on the backs of their shirts throughout the competition. 
Well, the news about Jules is that he still remains very much in a, in a critical condition, but encouragingly, he has been removed from the artificial coma uh, that he was placed under uh, in the moments after the accident and has been well enough to have transferred from the hospital in Japan back to a hospital in Nice. So Jules tonight, well, yesterday, I should say, has gone back home again uh, to France. So was well enough to fly, his condition improving enough to allow him to go back. And our thoughts from Formula One in schools and throughout the Formula One community very much with a, a, a cracking uh, young gentleman from France. We, we keep our fingers crossed. But I thought you might like to know the news tonight. It's uh, slightly more encouraging, which is great. Um, ten minutes, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll start our reward ceremony. Thank you very much indeed. Um, apologies if you're still just making your way back to your seats, but I think we've kept you in suspense for long enough tonight. It is time to start the 10th anniversary Formula One in Schools World Championship Finals Gala Awards for 2014. 22 awards to hand out, culminating in the Bernie Eccleston World Champions Trophy and with it the chance of a scholarship at City University in London. From the regional finals to the national finals to the world finals, we are now down to our 22 awards. And we begin with the award for the Team Portfolio uh, category, sponsored by Abu Dhabi Tourism and Cultural Authority. Please welcome their Business Leisure Events Unit head, Farah Al Abakush. Dear guests, good evening everyone. I hope you have enjoyed your visit to Abu Dhabi so far and you have had a taste of what our fi fine city and yes island has to offer. I have some of you are even staying on to take in more of our Emirate. If it's your first trip here too, I hope you have been impressed and look forward to welcoming you back another day. If you have been to Abu Dhabi before and you are coming back for a return visit, again, you're welcome. You will always be welcome in Abu Dhabi. I know many of you are extending your stay to enjoy the Formula One. The race this weekend here on the fabulous Yas Island. The eyes of the world are on us, and we have privilege to hold this great sporting event in our capital city, Abu Dhabi. It has been a long journey for you all to get here, and the hard work you have all put into your designs of your cars and your presentations over many, many months. Over the past three days, we have seen you, young students from all over the world, representing your countries and your teams with great pride and honor. Although competitive, there have been much fun and laughter, and I've been amazed at the passion you have displayed. Thank you for coming to Abu Dhabi, and congratulations in taking part. Enjoy the rest of your stay, enjoy the race, and we hope to welcome back, to welcome you back here another day in Abu Dhabi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is a wonderful trophy. Uh, please, would you like to uh, take hold of the trophy? And I will open up the first of our golden envelopes for this evening, the Team Portfolio Award, supported by the Abu Dhabi Tourism and Cultural Authority. The nominations, Javelin Racing of Germany, Southern Cross of Australia, and Boreas, also from Germany. And the winner, from Australia, Southern Cross.
Congratulations to Southern Cross. Now, gentlemen and lady, we need uh, a photo, please, in the center of the stage with our trophy. Our photographers are right behind table number 12. I think you might need to just squeeze in just a little bit if you can. That would be lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Are we okay with the photographs? It's like a gala premiere in the West End. There's so many photographers tonight. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations, Southern Cross. And we move on with our second award of the evening. This is the Sutton Images Funniest Moments of the Week Award, a moment that has been captured on film, which is why Sutton Images are so proud to be associated with it. Please welcome, from Sutton Images, Mark and Keith Sutton. <laughs> Keith, because the cameras are here, knew that he had to put his jacket on. Mark, because he normally takes the pictures, didn't bother. Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Right, the funniest moments of the week award presented by Sutton Images goes, and I hope we see the picture, to Red Dragon Racing from Wales. We're all gonna start laughing in a minute. You can never rely on a picture to say a word, or even a thousand when you want it to. That's why you need commentators. It was a very funny picture. Come up, Red Dragon Racing. Congratulations. Right, gentlemen, come this way. Good to see you. Well done. I've got an idea. This is how we rescue this one. We'll pose for the picture, and then the funniest moment of the week award. Is that going to come up behind? Maybe not. Oh, we'll put it on the website. You can see it. Or go to the Sutton Images website. It'll be up there. It'll be on the Sutton Images website. Thank you very much. Congratulations, guys. Am I right in saying it involves uh, a picture in a swimming pool with some swimming trunks missing? Yeah, maybe we're not past the watershed yet. Right, moving on. Award number three of the evening, the Research and Development Awards. Their director to the stage, Aditya Tangri. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well done. Swiftly make it. You've got to go that way and get the trophy. Don't forget the trophy. It's so heavy, Katie can't hold it up all night. Right, the Research and Development Award presented by Calibra has three nominations. From the UK, the Whittle Wonders. From Australia, Gamma Racing. And from Germany, Boreas. And the winner is... From Germany, Boreas! Okay, photographers, thank you very much indeed, and congratulations to our team from Germany, well done to Boreas. Thank you very much. Our next award is the Team Sponsorship and Marketing Award. This is uh, supported by Tata Communications. Please welcome to the stage their Senior Vice President for the Middle East, Central Asia and Africa, Radwan Musala. <laughs> Radwan, good to see you this evening. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Please. 
Three nominations once again. Gamma Racing in Australia. Slipstream from the USA and Sapphire Racing Team from Greece. Presented by Tata Communications goes to Slipstream from the USA. I told her you're going to win. As predicted by Radwan himself, who apparently told the team tonight, you're going to win this award. Uh, and to be honest, I don't think he knew because I didn't even know till I opened the envelope. So well done. Please move into the center and pose for photos. And congratulations all around to our team. Slipstream from the USA, one of a few teams who had problems with their pit display arriving a little late. But all's well that ends well. Congratulations and well done to Slipstream. Thank you very much indeed. We move on and we feel the need, the need for speed. This is the award for the fastest car. Please welcome a man who knows a thing or two about fast cars this season from Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team, their sporting director, Mr. Ron Meadows. Although the car slightly faster than Ron is on two legs. Good to see you, Ron. And congratulations. I believe that you have been made a, a patron, a fellow of Formula One in schools this evening. A man who has long supported Formula One in schools. Thank you very much for that. And welcome to the family, as it were. And good luck for this weekend. Uh, may the best man win out in the championship battle. The fastest car award presented by Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team goes to not Sapphire Racing Team from Greece. They were third fastest. Not pole position from Greece. They were second fastest. But the winner, and this is the car, not the reaction time, goes to from Greece and Cyprus, Absolute Accelero. Where are they? Come on, Absolute Accelero. You've changed into your evening shirts. I couldn't see you there. Brilliant. Go that way for us. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. And their time uh, over our track distance, 1.02 eight seconds, which was uh, 10 milliseconds faster than pole position uh, managed our second fastest team. But what a speedy week it has been for our Greek teams at Formula One in schools. Thank you very much to Ron and the Mercedes team. Thank you very much to Absolute Accelero. Congratulations to you all. And we move on from the fastest car to the Team Website Award, supported by Fantastic Media. Uh, please put your hands together to present this award on behalf of Fantastic Media, the Directory of Business Development and Partnerships for F1 in Schools, Mr. Steve Nevy. Thank you very much, Steve. Three nominations for the Team Website Award. They are Proton Elitus. Escuderia Charo and Photon Racing in Ireland. And the winners, all the way from Mexico, Escuderia Charo! Congratulations, well done. Come this way, well done. Congratulations. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Well done to Escuderia Charo. Excellent. So we set the teams a challenge yesterday, the Pressure Challenge Award, and the pressure was very much on them. 
because if they didn't complete it within the allotted time limit, that's it, they failed. They had to design something based around Roman Grosjean's head. Well, it must have done very well for Roman Grosjean's head because I'm pleased to say he's been announced as a Formula One driver for 2015 in the last 24 hours as well. Uh, this award was conducted in association uh, with Autodesk. Please welcome their Global Strategic Partnerships Manager for Autodesk Education to the stage, Mr. Matthew Bell. Matthew, let me give you a microphone, two seconds, because I saw the culmination of this pressure challenge, and the heat was very much on, but what, briefly, did the teams have to do? Okay, um, so they were all given a few weeks ago some instructions to model a race helmet, and then uh, yesterday they were, they were giving a scaled model of Roman's head. They had to create a helmet, they had to take into consider things like aerodynamics, they had to ensure that it uh, showed their team identity. And then they also had to create a display case as if the helmet was actually going to be displayed and sold. So a little similar to what you see on the podium there. So it was a very, very, very intense couple of hours for them yesterday. But there were some stunning, stunning outcomes. And some of the teams actually working right up until the last second to get it done as well. So hopefully we'll see the nominations here, uh, which are... From England, Whittle Wonders. Oh, no, from Australia first, Gamma Racing. From England, Whittle Wonders. Excellent. And also from England, Colossus F1. So that's what the teams came up with. And the winners are the helmet you can see right there, Colossus F1. Congratulations to Colossus F1, winners of the Pressure Challenge Award. Excellent. Under pressure, our photographers. Come on, you finished? Thank you very much indeed. Well done, Colossus F1, and thank you, Matthew. Now, social media. It's something we all use day in, day out, even myself. Hashtag Ask Crofty. It's what follows my name everywhere I go these days. Uh, but we have an award for the best use of social uh, media, presented, of course, by the Caterham F1 team, who I'm delighted to say are here in Abu Dhabi to go racing, but have an awful lot on their plate tonight. So sadly, couldn't be with us here. So to present this award on their behalf, put your hands together again for the Chair of Judges, Mr. Gary Anderson. who actually isn't even on Twitter. So quite why you got involved in social media here, Gary, I'm not quite sure. Hashtag hail to the chief. Now, the nominations are from Cyprus, Fire Racing. From Portugal, Racing Art. And from the USA, Affinity F1. And for their engagement through Twitter, Facebook, uh, Book Even, Instagram, and Tumblr, the winners, Affinity F1. Congratulations, well done. Congratulations. Well done, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, he's left me hanging, Hayden. Congratulations, man, Hayden left me hanging. Okay, quick smile for the cameras, please. Squeeze in together if you can. Come on, Affinity. It's all going up on Instagram and Facebook. Congratulations, Affinity F1. Well, uh, we'll
will read all your tweets later. Now, we move on to our pit display award. And I think those that have seen the pit displays will agree with me. They've been absolutely outstanding this year, uh, telling the story, basically, the journey, the evolution of all the cars competing. They really have been magnificent. Uh, please put your hands together uh, for our partner in this uh, award from Scuderia Toro Rosso, their team manager, Mr. Graham Watson. Evening, Graham. Three nominations for the Pitt Display Award. They are from Germany, Javelin Racing, from Ireland and the UAE, Fusion F1, and from Germany and Malaysia, the collaboration team that is High End Racing. And the winners from Germany, Javelin Racing. Congratulations, well done. Well done to you. Congratulations. Philip, well done. Congratulations, well done. Thank you, Graham. <laughs> Magnificent. Thank you very much to Javelin and to Graham as well. Good luck for the weekend. We move on then for the Best International Collaboration Team Award presented by Shell. Please welcome their sponsorship activation manager, Annie Kennedy. Two marvelous silver plates and a lifetime supply of Shell fuel. No. <laughs> Very good. Good to see you. The Best International Collaboration Team Award presented by Shell goes to, from Ireland, and the UAE Fusion F1. Excellent. Right up the back. Come on, Fusion. Fantastic effort. Go and receive your award, sir. And move this way. Well done, Fusion. Come and take centre stage. And proving that you can work despite thousands of miles separating the two teams who use social media, FaceTime, Skype, you name it, to collaborate to great effect. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Annie. Good to see you. Congratulations, Fusion. We move on then with our 10th, uh, 11th award of the evening, presented by the Sauber F1 team, and it is for the Best Newcomer Award. Well, it's something our special guest could have won himself last year, but he's no longer a rookie. It's his second season in Formula One. Please welcome Esteban Gutierrez. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you as well. Let me just give you a microphone. Come and stand here, because it's not only your second season in Formula One, but your second year looking at F1 in schools as well. This time last year, didn't you design a car that could try and race on our track? Yes, actually, that was in Singapore, and uh, it was uh, a great experience. Uh, it's not an easy one, but uh, it's quite uh, interesting to see the level of, uh, of the little cars, how they've been developing. And are you impressed with what you've seen this year? Has it actually been better, do you think, than last year? Have you seen anything that's grabbed your attention? Definitely. I mean, with the level of the presentations and all, you know, the process, I mean, I'm here supporting the Mexican team. Uh, I was <laughs> just sitting with them, so... Yeah, it's quite uh, interesting the, how the whole project develops from, from zero and what they need to go through and everything. I, I think it's, it's great because it's, uh, you know, it's what we do in a different scale, obviously, but it's uh, quite an example. It's been very much like a normal Grand Prix weekend. Esteban, thanks for giving your time tonight. Uh, best of luck for next year, wherever you end up, my friend. It's been great to know you this season and last season. Don't be a stranger in Formula One in future. Esteban Gutierrez, ladies and gentlemen. 
And Sauber then have supported the Best Newcomer Award. And it goes to the team that have traveled the furthest to be here, not from Mexico, but from Brazil, Forza Caninde. Thanks, mate. Best of luck next year, yeah? I hope you stick around. I really do. Congratulations to our Brazilian team. Take center stage, guys. Take center stage. Well done. Good man. Good to see you. Well done. Come on. And you brought the parrot as well. Excellent. Esteban, if you could get into our picture as well. You're going to have to look like friends here, Forza Caninde. Congratulations, Forza Caninde. Thank you, Esteban. That'll make the 14-hour flight back to Sao Paulo an awful lot more bearable, I think. We move on to the Award for Outstanding Sportsmanship, and this is supported by Sahara Force India. Please welcome their race team's operations manager, Mark Gray. Thank you very much, Mark. Good to see you. Uh, the nominations for this award are Aurora Canada, who supported other teams, even though they didn't actually have their pit display. And we still don't know where it is. Colossus F1 from England, sharing the design of their air cushion and withdrawing using it for the competition. And Boreas in Germany, rerunning the knockout race against Absolute Accelero and then losing the playoff heat because they were through to the next round. And then sadly, someone took a picture, flash photography went off, and they really rather sportingly said, even though we're through, we'll give Absolute Accelero a chance to do it properly. And Absolute Accelero went on, as you saw, to reach the final. Which is why Boreas from Germany win the award for outstanding sportsmanship in 2014. Congratulations, guys. Top effort. Well done. Congratulations. Brilliant. That's it. Thank you very much, indeed. Now, hang on, they got this award because a teacher used flash photography at the wrong time. Don't you start using flash photography at the wrong time down there. I'm told no teacher's allowed to take photos. Well done to Boreas. Uh, award number 13 is for innovative thinking. It uh, is supported by the Lotus F1 team. And with us tonight, their deputy team principal, Mr. Federico Gastaldi. Come on, Fred. It's been a tough old day. Lotus F1, supporting innovative thinking. And the nominations are From Ireland, Auto Launch for their suspension design. Six and Plus from Cyprus for the sealer for the balsa. And Colossus F1 England for water tunnel testing. I should know a little bit more about that, and I think I will in a minute, because the winner is, from England, Colossus F1! Oh, wait, my friend. Congratulations. Well done.
Thank you very much to Frederico and congratulations to Colossus F1. I love it. Water tunnel testing, where apparently they just they dunk the car, they drop the car into the tank. The Formula One team might want to try out one of their drivers in the future, see how they cope under the pressure there. I think it's still allowed in the sport of Formula One. We move on to award number 14. This is the Chair of Judges Recognition of Achievement Award. It's supported by Infinity Red Bull Racing. Please welcome their Chief Engineer, Mr. Paul Monaghan. Good to see you, Pedals. Well, everyone's got to have a nickname. What's Crofty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put a Y on the end. That's what works. Um, the nominations for this from India are Team Acero, the most consistent team. The wheels were off at scrutineer, scrutineering and kept falling off. Yeah, they did. Every single time they raced, uh, they carried on, but the wheels did keep falling off, and they kept nicking my microphone every time I tried to interview them as well. Consistency was their buzzword. Aurora in Canada, they turned a negative into a positive, and Project Speed in the UAE, they gave the older teams a good run for their money as our youngest competitors. And the winner from Canada, it's Aurora! Congratulations, Aurora. Come up this way. Actually, Paul, come meet them in the middle, sir. Now, Aurora, over the last few days, very much turned a positive, or uh, turned a negative into a positive. Their pit display didn't arrive. It still hasn't arrived. So they went out and did the best they could to create a pit display. They also created a draw to raise money for charity based on when the pit display actually arrives. So thank you, Ikea, where they raided, and well done, Aurora. And thank you, Infinity Red Bull Racing as well. Thanks, Paul. Award number 15 is the FIA Women in Motorsports Award, supported, of course, by the FIA Women in Motorsport Commission. Please welcome Sylvia Bello to the stage. And thank you, Sylvia, for taking time out to join us uh, this evening. Our nominations for this award are from Colossus F1, Victoria Waterfield, Rachel Matthews, and Emma Baldry. From Malaysia, the team that is Proton Elitus. And from Germany, Katja, Melissa Shidor, or Shido, and Julia Pereira. Oh, my German is nicht so gut. Entschuldigen. Luckily for me, the winners are Proton Elitus from Malaysia. Congratulations to Proton Elitus, five outstanding female contestants. That's it. Watch the man waving his hands there. Magnificent. Proton Elitus, congratulations. Well done. Our next award goes to the best engineered car. It's supported by McLaren Mercedes. Please welcome their test driver to the stage, fastest man in Belgium, Stoffel van Dorn. I assume you are still the fastest man in Belgium. I hope so, yeah. Excellent, so do I. Otherwise, you won't win the race this weekend. Good luck in the GP2, but what do you think of the engineering on show at Formula One in schools? I mean, it's great. I'm sitting um, with Javelin uh, racing from Germany at the table. I just uh, went to have a look to their uh, pit stand, and I must say it's, it's really impressive what, uh, what these guys build. 
um, I think it's a great initiative and yeah, hopefully they, they can make their dreams come true and uh, find their way into Formula One or uh, other engineering businesses. Have they shown you their magnetic dampers that they had yeah, on the front did, of the car? Yeah, they did. It's I really didn't cool. even know you could do magnetic dam the dampers. Fantastic achievement. Stoffel, thanks ever so much uh, for coming and joining us tonight, my friend. And as I say, good luck for the weekend. We have an award to present and it goes to the Best Engineered Car Award presented by McLaren Mercedes. Not Javelin Racing. From Ireland, it's Auto Launch Racing! <laughs> Thanks, mate. Go and meet him in the middle. Congratulations to Auto Launch Racing from Ireland. Thank you very much to Stoffel Van Dorn. Well done. We move on to an award and a special announcement this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together uh, from Williams Racing, the Deputy Team Principal and the Chief Technical Officer of the team, Claire Williams and Pat Simmons. Right, let me see if I can turn two microphones on at the same time. Microphone one to the deputy team principal. Microphone two to Mr. Simmons. Is it on? I don't know. I no, I, I knew we'd get this wrong. It's all my fault because I'm just a bit technically inept, as yep. Pat knows. Is that working? Yeah. Um, we have, uh, we're going to present the Verbal Presentation Award. But before we do, Williams and Formula One schools have a big announcement to, uh, to make. So over to you. We do. Um, but first, I would just like to say this is my first um, event at F1 in Schools, and I, I'm so inspired by everyone's achievements um, here today. It, I wish that I'd been half as ambitious when I was all your ages. I think my parents would probably have been a lot prouder than they were of me when I was 16. <laughs> um, but it's such a great job by you all. And it's, it's really great to see that, you know, the young budding engineers of the future here tonight, but also the marketeers and the guys that are accruing the sponsorship as well. Um, and the award, not the award, the, um, the, the announcement that we'd like to make tonight is um, an academy that we're launching, and we launched earlier today, that we're doing in association with one of our sponsors, Randstad, and that's uh, an engineering academy, as I talk about a lot. We're always on the lookout for the talent of the future, the talent that will ensure that Formula One is sustainable in the future, and that's you guys in this room. But as we all know, the path to Formula One can always be um, slightly tri tricky to navigate. Um, hence this award, which I'll hand over to Pat to tell you a little bit more about. Thank you, Claire. Well, the academy that we're setting up is very much linked to F1 in schools. So starting next year, we'll be looking at the top 10, in our opinion, students that are coming through uh, this wonderful scheme that we are already seeing. So we will look at those and we will take them on and we will mentor them. Now we'll do this through a process of e-learning and we're setting up a, a brand new e-learning portal for the students to really get a taste of what Formula One engineering is about. They'll also be mentored by some of our senior engineers who will help them with the projects that we'll be setting. Now, of course, Formula One is a very competitive business, and we will take on these 10 year on year. So over the next seven years, uh, we'll be adding 10 each year. But like Formula One, only the best get to the end. And we will be selecting from the 10 through the year those that carry on to our final sort of mentoring uh, by Williams. So it's a really exciting project. I think we've seen a lot of young driver academies in the past that have uh, led to people like Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel getting into Formula One. We hope that this academy will do a, a similar thing for engineers. So a very exciting prospect for you all in the coming years. So basically, with F1 in schools, with Williams and Randstad, with a mentoring academy, somewhere out here tonight, and this time next year, 
And in the next seven years, could be the very next Pat Simmons, sat there waiting to be discovered and mentored. Well, and we certainly hope so. There's your challenge, everybody. Go out. You too now have a path through to Formula One, but it is up to you to follow that path. Because you get nout, or you don't get out for nout, as my dad used to say. You don't put anything in, you don't get anything out. Right, but we do get an award at this moment in time. Thank you, Claire, and thank you, Pat. I think it's an amazing mental scheme that is coming up here. But the v Verbal Presentation Award tonight has three nominations presented by Williams Racing. They go to Aurora in Canada, or Phoenix Legacy from Singapore, or Auto Launch Racing from Ireland. And the winner, they've won again. Auto Launch Racing from Ireland. Go for it. Congratulations, Auto Launch. Okay, quick uh, pictures. Watch the man waving his hand. He's the important one there. Because he's in the middle. Congratulations to Auto Launch. Thank you so much to Pat Simmons and to Claire Williams from Williams Racing. And seriously, check out the details of what is a fantastic scheme in association with Williams Racing. Now, Team Identity Award is our next award. This is supported by Ferrari. Please welcome their sponsorship and new business manager, Michele Pignatamora, to the stage. Good evening, sir. Don't leave me hanging. Thank you very much for coming up. And thank you very much for lending Ferrari World to Formula One in schools. As my sons would say, Ferrari World, I want to live there, Dad. Right. So they're moving in next week. Um, the nominations are from Malaysia, Kratalix F1 team. From the UAE, Project Speed. And from Portugal, Spectrum. And the Team Identity Award. I hope they're still up. It's Project Speed from the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> Our youngest team, and everyone knows who they are. <laughs> Congratulations. Move to the centre, guys. Well done. Don't let me hang. Congratulations. Well done, well done. Congratulations and well done. You got the trophy as well. Well done to Project Speed. If you have not taken a photo yet wearing Project Speed sunglasses and tweeted about it, well, go and see the guys and girls. They'll give you a pair of sunglasses. Everyone's going to have Project Speed sunglasses on, and I will keep up my promise uh, to tweet one from the Sky F1 commentary box sometime on Friday. Uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you all this week. Award number 19 goes to the Knockout Competition winners. Uh, this award supported by our hosts for this year, Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. Please welcome the Vice President of Theme Parks for Farrah Leisure, Manage Leisure Parks Management, Mr. Olivier Garialde. Good to see you again. Well, we know who the knockout competition winners are, don't we? Because we had it this evening, and it was a brilliant contest, and it was won, well, the name said it all, really, from Greece, pole position. <laughs> and you'd think pole position would be sat right down the front, but they're not. But they're here anyway. Good to see you, boys, and congratulations. Take the trophy, sir. Good to see you. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Please stand in the air. 
Sense it, that'd be lovely. Congratulations to pole position and thank you very much to Ferrari World here in Abu Dhabi. Well done. Thank you, Olivier. Which leaves three envelopes in my hand? A third place, a second place, and a world champions. To be presented in a few moments' time, ladies and gentlemen, to our top three overall teams for Formula One in Schools World Finals 2014. A lot of hard work goes into organizing this event and keeping Formula One in Schools going. And there's a great team of people that come together to produce this year after year after year. And they're headed up by the founder and chairman of Formula One in Schools, Mr. Andrew Denford. Let me give you microphone number one, Mr. Denford. Thank you, Crofty. Good evening, everybody. And thank you all for coming. And uh, what an incredible place, what an incredible venue. And what a fantastic story we've had of 10 years of F1 in schools. 10 years ago, this very month, we were in Castle Bromwich in Birmingham. If anybody's ever been there, you probably won't want to go back. With 11 teams from different parts of the world. And here we are with 38 teams in this mecca of Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. It's the perfect place, and it's like an, a spiritual home for F1 in schools. It's absolutely superb. And to see all you guys here supporting our students is uh, absolutely incredible. From the community of Formula One and uh, all the adults and supporting sponsors, it's great to see you here. But I think we should give a stand-up round of applause to our um, amazing teams. If the teams would stand up and take a round of applause, please, with all the F1 in schools teams rise and take a standing round of applause. Thank you very much indeed. Well done, guys. Fantastic, you are incredible. Well done. I am personally so proud of what I've seen. It's just another level above anything. Um, some of the displays, and of course, you've seen the engineering is absolutely outstanding, and you will be headhunted by these Formula One teams for sure. So I want to say a few, a few thank yous. Um, can I first of all say a big thank you to Ferrari World for hosting us here, and the TCA, for the uh, wonderful trip to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. That was a highlight, I'm sure, of the students' week. And uh, also to the IET and uh, TCA for tonight's dinner. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and apologies for some of the cues. And um, Crofty, well, he's got his voice just, in, just about holding together for the weekend. He's been a legend. I think we should really put our hands together for the man, Thank you. David Croft. Thank you. And Gary, we couldn't have done it without you. I'm glad you're uh, six foot four and 12 stone, sorry, 22 stone, but you've actually <laughs> held it together for me. Thank you ever so much. Can all the judges please stand and take a big round of applause? <laughs> Fantastic, incredible, 40 judges and more. And um, of course, the students couldn't get here. They couldn't afford to be here without the ICCs and the lead teachers. Again, please stand up quickly, take a round of applause. You all deserve it. Well done. Thank you very much. You do work extremely hard. And to our partners, Autodesk, Yas Marina Circuit, Altaric, really appreciate what you do for us. Uh, City University and Calibre for all the printing work that you've done for this event. And of course, Tata Communications for this incredible worldwide webcast. Thank you very much indeed. And to all the Formula One teams coming here, when you've got such a heavy schedule over there, I know what it means. Charlie Whiting was going to join us, but I, I think he had a, a meeting that ran over this evening. He'll come one day, I'm sure. And finally, to the Formula One in schools team. Without them, we just couldn't do it. I mean, they all make me look incredibly good. I'm not going to name them all, but they know who they are. They've been running around literally all day long to make this happen. Fantastic, guys. Thanks well ever so much. So, we'll quickly show you the world map of where we are moving on from those years 
back in uh, 2004. It's incredible to think that that's where we are today and it's growing. Next year, we're going to have the Philippines, Brunei, Peru and Vietnam joining us in an amazing new venue, which I'll announce very shortly. But I'd like, if possible, to invite on stage Al Tariq, if you'd like to come on stage as our host for this year's World Finals, and Yvonne Lowe, if you'd like to come on stage. I'm going to hand over to Al Tariq. Where is it, Katie? It's right in Where? front of you, Andrew. There's already been oh, there. placed. You're going to take it out of the box. Come on to the stage, Yvonne. our presentation committee. So this is the gift from this year's host country. And Al Tariq accepted something similar last year in Austin, Texas. Ceremonial gloves. Bear with us. This reminds me of a team, Andrew, we had last year who wouldn't let anyone touch their car <laughs> without putting gloves on first. Precious things have to be handled delicately. So Altari will kindly pass this over to Yvonne Lowe, and we're going to gather from all four corners of the globe next year, and we're going to end up in this wonderful location. Thank you, guys. Yvonne, just come to one side. Altari, come to one side. Uh, I think Yvonne has rather given the game away with her outfit this evening as to exactly <laughs> where we're going next year for Hopefully. Formula One in schools. Singapore's quite a big place, you know. And just on the outskirts is a lovely little island, which is where we're heading. Roll the video. Right, so That's that went a bit wrong, didn't it? Because when I saw the video, I've got to come into the center. There's basically a man standing saying, hi, welcome, this is brilliant, everything's great. And behind him, people are in swimming pools, and they're in nightclubs, and they're in some of the greatest restaurants in the world. And then they're going down water slides, and then they're playing golf, and then they're going out on boats. And at some stage over the weekend, they're also racing at Formula One in schools, because we're going to Sentosa Island in Singapore next year. Sentosa Island, ladies and gentlemen. We will show the video on the internet. Anyway. We will show the video on the internet. So, guys, we... just to say, whoever, I mean, I wish you all the best of luck for the next three trophies. Um, just remember that you are all champions. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you. And thank you very much indeed. And Yvonne, thank you. I wish we could show you how beautiful Sentosa Island is. But sadly, technology has rather let us down. Trust me, it's brilliant. And if you need any more inspiration as to why you should be all competing in Formula One in schools next year and trying to win through, uh, then check out their website as well. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the one, two, three. Beginning with our third place team overall. Uh, this is presented by the Institution of Engineering and Technology. Please welcome, representing the IET, Mr. Ian Daly. Ian, thank you very much. You may go and stand by our third place on the podium. And the third place team overall for 2014, presented by the Institute of Engineering and Technology from Germany, Aborius. Congratulations to Boris. Fantastic effort all round. Take your place on the podium. And you can remain there whilst we carry on with our runners up for this year, our second place team, as supported by the Yaz Marina Circuit. Please welcome back to the stage the Chief Executive Officer of Abu Dhabi Motorsport Management, Mr. Al Tariq Alameri. <laughs> Mr. 
who is now going to be burdened with the weight of the biggest trophy of the night. I hope you've been pumping the iron today, Al Tariq. Our second place team, our runners up for 2014, presented by Yaz Marina Circuit, to the team from Australia, Gamma Racing. Come on, Gamma Racing, to the stage, please. Congratulations to you. Your runners-up medals. Please, Al Tariq is, 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 is almost staggering here. He needs you to take this trophy off his hands. Congratulations. Take your place on the podium. Well done to Gamma Racing. And thank you, Al Tariq. So we have just our winners to announce then, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for our presentation party. Uh, can I request to come to the stage His Excellency Aref Al Awani, the General Secretary of the Abu Dhabi Sports Council, to present the Bernie Eccleston World Champions Trophy. And as you know, our Bernie Eccleston world champions are also offered the chance to attend City University London and a scholarship is offered to them to present the scholarship check. Please welcome back to the stage the chairman and founder of Formula One in Schools, Mr. Andrew Denford. Despite what you may have read, Formula One very much needs input on all sides from young people. And the input that we have seen this weekend, this week and weekend, has been utterly amazing. The 38 teams have competed hard, have shown dedication to the cause, have gone the extra mile to try and make their efforts the best all round. You all deserve this trophy, but we can only give it to one team. And so, the Formula One in schools, world champions for 2014, presented by Formula One Management and City University London, the winners are the English national champions and world champions, Colossus F1! It started out with the regional finals, progressed to the nationals, and now world champions, Colossus F1. Please take your trophy and your place on our winner's podium. And please, ladies and gentlemen, rise for Colossus F1 and the national anthem of Great Britain.
Ladies and gentlemen, and our team, if you can raise that trophy above your head, please try. Your winners for 2014, Colossus F1. How about that then? It's amazing, we can't believe it. <laughs> you can't believe it? I can't believe it. At any stage, did you think you had a chance? I don't know, it's just it's amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing, the microphone doesn't want to seem to work. Let's try up this end instead. What made the difference? What was the secret? I think our car design was so innovative that that pushed us to go all the way. It did. Late nights, sleepless nights? All the time. <laughs> How many months have you been working for this moment? Uh, it's been almost two years now. Almost two years. And has it been worth every single sleepless night? 2,000%. <laughs> Is there anyone you want to thank? Just everyone. I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm <laughs> speechless. <laughs> You're speechless. For once, I might also be speechless as well. You have been an amazing team. To our third place team, our second place team, and to our winners and the other 35 teams, it has been an amazing competition. But there can only be one world champions. It goes this year to Colossus F1 from England, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Colossus F1, champions of the world! I think these celebrations could go long, long, long into the night and for once the sleepless night will all be about smiles and party time. Congratulations to Boreas, to Gamma, and once more to Colossus F1. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance this year here in Abu Dhabi. We'll see you all in Singapore in 2015. One more round of applause. Colossus F1. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our awards for 2014. Thank you so much once again on behalf of F1 in Schools for your attendance tonight. Come and talk to your teams, your winners, your champions. I'm sure they've got plenty to say and celebrate. And we'll see you once again in Singapore in 2015. Take care. Safe journey home.